Uh, the first game is called Authors, and in this, the contestants have to take it in turns to tell a story in the style of an author of their own choosing. So if you'd like to come forward, contestants, and tell us who your author is. I'll be getting the title from the studio audience in just a moment for them to improvise with. Uh, Josie, have you thought uh, of a, an Agatha author? Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie, yes, jolly good. King James. King James. The famous, Bible. If, oh, yes, famous for writing of the Bible, yes. <laughs> God, that's very appropriate for, for a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, no, the program goes on a Friday, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let, less appropriate, possibly, for the, uh, the show. Very, <coughs> very appropriate because it'll be Sunday in a couple of days' time. Um, <laughs> and Paul? Uh, do it yourself, technical handbook. Yes. Marvellously well read you are, Paul. And, and John, who have you gone for? I'm going to do uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Ah. And a very popular choice with the audience here. <laughs> For all, oh, we've been reading him during the week, just a bit. Now, yeah. from the studio audience, I'd like, if, if possible, a suggestion for the title of a story for them to tell. A Day in the Life of a Horny Llama. <laughs> <laughs> a Day in the Life of the Horny Llama. <laughs> yeah. Have you read a story called that already? <laughs> or, are you in the process of writing one? Or? <laughs> you write them regularly, so you're using this like, sort of, like a publicity plug for your own book. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yes. Well, don't do it again. <laughs> OK. The Day in the Life of a Horny Llama. Just outside the street of Wilson Mansions, Hercule Poirot was walking along with his assistant, Hastings, trying to get this llama off his leg. <laughs> Hastings, you're probably wondering why I've brought you to this street today. Well, it's this llama I've got on my leg. I can't seem to shake it off, Hastings. And Hastings did say unto Poirot, <laughs> take this llama Go unto the garden with it. Show it to another llama. <laughs> and the llama did beget llama. <laughs> that did beget llama. That did beget llama. That begat llama. That begat llama. And Poe said to Hastings, get this llama off my back. And Hastings said, do it yourself. <laughs> it was this point that... Uh, he had passed the doorway and he said, you notice this door has been planed on both sides. <laughs> if you notice that the grommets on the backward side or handle have been double screwed back to utilise the devil sink after you dig out the sunk um, uh, piece of glass. <laughs> piece of glass, ah, huh? yes. <laughs> the Colonel Balazar Alcazar Diaz Macaya <laughs> had often looked down into Maconda. Only the other morning he had got up to see his wife rise from her bed in beautiful Colombian silk, only to turn into a large white bird. Or was it? A llama. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK. Well... Well, I have to give some points uh, for that uh, round, and I can't distinguish between anybody there, so I'll give ten points each just to get us going.